The leukodystrophies are a set of rare genetic disorders that affect the nervous system functions. Each type of disorder is caused by a faulty gene that disrupts the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath is a highly important fatty tissue that helps insulate and protect nerve cells. If the myelin sheath is altered, nerves can be damaged, making it hard for the body to send messages to its different parts. This creates problems that affect the brain. At the beginning, it impairs walking, speech, and vision. Most of the myelin is assembled during the first two years after birth. So at this time, symptoms may begin to occur, progressively get worse, then sadly lead to premature death. There are over 40 types of leukodystrophy and a lot of research being done to find a treatment. One approach being developed in clinical trials is a gene therapy that would correct the faulty gene found in two major types, adrenoleukodystrophy, also known as ALD, and metachromatic leukodystrophy, or MLD. In the case of ALD, the faulty gene is called ABCD1. This gene is producing the protein called ALDP that is not functioning properly. The protein is supposed to break down fatty acids. Since it is not, too many of these fatty acids accumulate in the nerve cells and damage the protective myelin sheath. MLD is most commonly caused by a faulty gene called aryl sulfatase A. This gene is needed to produce a protein that helps clean up the cell. This cleanup duty includes breaking down sulfatides, which are fats present in the myelin sheath. Without proper cleanup, the accumulation of sulfatides damages the myelin. These are two similar problems caused by a different faulty genes with the same treatment method in mind, an ex vivo gene therapy that targets the stem cells. Ex vivo means that cells are removed from the patient and then altered, and stem cells are undefined cells that can become different cells depending on what the body needs. For how this treatment works, here's Dr. Alessandra Biffy. So this ex vivo method is done by removing hematopoietic stem cells, or HSCs, from the patient's body via blood drone, and then modifying them by using a vector to transfer a working copy of the disease-causing gene. Once the corrected cells are returned to the patient, this generates functional HSCs that can clear up the accumulated fatty acids or storage material and decrease inflammation and tissue damage. Restoring protein function in blood cells can halt the myelin degeneration. A vector, which is often a virus, is how the working gene is delivered into the cell. Don't worry, the viral genes that are known to cause disease have been removed. The corrected cells will then produce the protein that was missing or defective prior to treatment, aiming to halt disease progression. Researchers continue to work optimistically on gene therapies in clinical trials that will ultimately be safe and effective enough to help patients with leukodystrophy. For more information and resources about gene therapy for leukodystrophies, visit ASGCT.org.